What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. No, he's not dead. There's somebody over there moving. We got a 2019 F-150. Uh, this is one of my best friend's trucks. He is a first responder. I know it's not a power stroke, but I gotta keep him on the road. And I wanted to illustrate to you guys how to change the oil on your 2.7 while at home and not using a hoist. All right, let's get into it guys. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We have a 2019 F-150 here. It has 15,000 miles on it. This does have the 2.7 EcoBoost in it and it is right there. Today I wanted to talk about what one would have to go through to change their oil on their 2.7 EcoBoost F-150. And we are at home and not on the hoist. So what better time to show the correct way to change your oil when at home. All right, so some of the first things you're gonna need, obviously some brake clean at your guys' leisure, get whatever kind you want. Uh, some super premium 5W30, good funnel, rag. This is what I'm gonna be using to take the oil filter uh, off. I use a 27 millimeter. Um, I just don't have the uh, little cup socket kit that you can purchase to get your, I'll show you your oil filter cap off right there bright light so um i just want to make sure everybody's going to start with the correct materials make sure to always use motorcraft products in your ford lincoln or mercury and this is the part number for the 27 ecoboost all right, so what you want to start doing is underneath these EcoBoosts, there is a uh, air deflector panel right here, and you have to take off four eight millis to take this panel down. So that's what we're going to do right now. They're caged in the cover, so the bolts aren't going to come out. Sometimes, sometimes the uh, retaining tab doesn't stay I think it's still on no, but we're still stuck yep just pull this thing all the way back out of your way and uh, Right now, I'm going to go get some gloves and a light so that we can better see this area. All right, so this is a quarter turn, or I guess eighth turn, quarter turn, drain plug. Um, this is going to whoosh out pretty good, so make sure, you know, you don't want to keep the drain pan like this. You know, pull the drain pan back far enough and go ahead and crack the crack it loose like that and then work it a little more with your finger twist it twist it and then you'll get it floated in the hole like right now it's floated pull it back really quick and get your hand out of the way it's gonna kind of make a little bit of a mess nothing we can't clean up little little spray going by the uh, sway bar and then we can adjust our pan give our hand a little wipey wipe it is hot too he just got here so the water the water the the oils nice and thin like water spraying all over the place I suppose if you would have pulled this up and Maybe deflected a little better. Maybe it wouldn't have gotten on the floor, but it ain't no big deal. Got some carpet on me. But uh, let's go back up top. I want to show you guys now. You don't want to put the drain plug back in. So the oil filter up top suspends oil 
up inside of its filter cavity. When you take the cap out, when you take the cap off, the oil that was suspended in there is gonna drain back down to the crankcase. So you wanna make sure you have that loosened. I suppose I should have did that before, but um, I wanted to get this hot oil out of here. So um, we're gonna go upstairs, pop this oil filter loose. We'll do a little talking up there while it's draining. Then we'll come back down here and get cleaned up and uh, complete the uh, underside. All right, so I got my 27 and we're gonna lefty loosey righty tighty. You can see it coming out of its bore there in the, uh, I guess that would be the front cover, sorta. We got a double O-ring. I can actually hear a little bit of oil starting to come out of the oil pan now, or into the oil drain pan now. Just let that kind of float. See all the crankcase vapor coming out. Let me go grab a rag. I don't want to make a mess on my man's truck. Okay. So this is what we're looking like with it out. She is pretty hot right now. But it's just the uh, paper cartridge element. Like I said, it has 15,000 miles on it, but uh, he changes it every 5,000. So this is his third oil change. He's always up on it uh, all the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these O-rings swapped out. That one, nasty. This one, you can see the stock, the original uh, O-rings were pink. The new ones are, are green. There's gonna be some oil. Oop, just had some water drop in the background. Okay, make sure those are seated in their little ring grooves. Now this O-ring right here is a real pain in the butt. Um, it's really super tight and I try not to skewer myself. Getting it off isn't a problem. It's putting the new one on. By golly, it is just a real pain in the butt. It's tiny and I can't get it over that initial hump over here. I don't know why they make it so difficult. Let me try stretching it out a little bit. Sticking my screwdriver in here, I'm holding it. One, two, three. I'll put it on really quick. I haven't found a good way to do this, but I think I just found it right now. Yeah, here's your screwdriver. I remember the pink ones being way worse to install on, but we got this one on, so. Filter, doesn't matter which way it goes. Go ahead, slide that in. Don't have to loop up the uh, O-rings. Hands got oil on it. It's just kind of kind of doing one of those. And then uh, but make sure before you stick the filter in the hole, you got the filter pushed down all the way, so you got a good amount of tip sticking out. And then just go ahead and insert it into its chamber, and go ahead and screw it down in. Remember, this isn't a lug nut. Snug it down. Okay, it stopped, and I'm just gonna go. Just a, a, a that was just a, a little tiny turn. I wasn't I wasn't snugging on it. And then when you're done, just give it a little spritz of your brake clean. Engine's hot, so this is gonna evaporate right away. You can see it removing itself from the valve cover, drying right up. Okay, let's go back underneath the truck. I'm gonna grab the light and we'll uh, install the drain plug. All right, I'm gonna spray my drain plug off, brake clean. You don't have to do this, but I like to. You see, we just got just a little, little trickle. That's good enough. Go ahead and install your drain plug and then you know it is tightened once you hear that click. And then again, get your brake clean. Give it a generous keeping amount. Works well. Very potent. Give it a wipe down. And then we are gonna move our drain pan forward and we're gonna reinstall 
our air deflector. And if you guys can see right here on the front where I'm pointing to, that tongue has to sit right in that metal groove. So make sure before you guys put it on, you guys can get those bolt holes and bolts lined up. Here we go. And uh, let's go install some oil, guys. Okay, so your 27 takes 5W30, as stated right on the cap. Make sure you're using 530. You guys can check out my buddy DS Trucks video. And uh, if you guys want to talk about running full synthetic or conventional semi-synthetic oil, um, it's up to you to decide what you want to use. Um, you can go back and forth between, between the two and how you use them and what's best for you. But uh, I'll put a link in the description to his video and you guys at your leisure can check him out. Um, and you guys can talk about oil. But today we're using the Motorcraft 5W30 blended oil, which is what this vehicle calls for. This is uh, an oil I would recommend to use in my own vehicle, not only my customer's vehicles. This is going to take the quantity of six. Make sure to properly dispose of your waste oil at your local auto parts store if you're nearby. Come pay me a visit and I'll dispose of it before you. But that is six quarts. Everything's drained out of the funnel. Don't be a forgetful Jones and forget to put your oil fill cap on. Come on, go in there, buddy. And that, my friends, is how you change the oil on your 2019 F-150 with a 2.7 liter. I know it's not a power stroke, but like I said, I wanted to illustrate to you guys how you change the oil on your EcoBoost while at home, because um, everything I do is at work on the hoist, and thought maybe it'd be nice to give a little taste on what it would be on real life at home, in the garage, with the tractors, with the garage clean, and you guys. All right, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to drop down in the comment section, tell me what you guys think. What are you guys driving? What kind of oil are you using? And as always, like, sub, share, comment. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.